looking for some great stretches and exercises to eliminate SI joint pain. My name is Eva Venes of painfreeforlifepilates.com located in San Diego, California. And today I'm going to show you some of my favorite SI joint exercises so you can finally get lasting relief and eliminate pain for good. First of all, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain without drugs and surgery and how to improve your strength, flexibility and mobility. Just click the red subscribe button below or click on my channel page to see more videos. When your SI joint is hurting, you feel like your whole body is affected. The pain radiates down into the legs and oftentimes into the lower back. I want you to know that you are not alone. I am here to help you and you can and you will get better. Whether you just have occasional soreness or you have full-blown pain, the underlying cause is often lack of movement accompanied by an imbalance in the musculature meaning that some of your muscles are overworking, some of them are underworking. Also, um, the sacroiliac joint itself has very little movement capability, but oftentimes the surrounding areas, such as the lower back, have too much movement or lack of stability. So in today's exercises, we are going to focus on differentiating between moving the lumbar vertebrae or moving the hips, how to stabilize the lower back and how to stabilize the pelvis so the SI joint doesn't have to do as much movement as it often does. So first of all, um, let's lay down on our back and <clears throat> spread out your shoulders, the feet are hip distance apart from each other. Um, try and keep your lower back stable. What I mean is when you move your legs, don't let your lower back and your pelvis accompany the legs. So let's just keep the pelvis and the lower back in a strong, firm, stable position. You're going to take a deep inhale, on your exhale, press your left foot into the floor and lifting from the hip, raise your right leg into what I like to call a tabletop position. And then take another inhale. On your exhale, firm up your abdominals, keep the hips stable and now lift your left leg into tabletop position. And then take another inhale. On your exhale, keep your lower back stable by engaging your core and slowly lower your right leg. Take another inhale. On your exhale, lift that right leg back into tabletop. Take a breath. On your exhale, lower the left leg. So we bring the left leg into tabletop and we lower the right leg. Then we bring the right leg up and lower the left leg. If you're able to do these what we call toe taps without moving the pelvis and the lower back, then you're really mastering keeping your pelvis and your lumbar spine stable, which will greatly help you eliminate sacroiliac joint pain. The next thing we do is tuck your pelvis under and roll up into a bridge. Then place your hands on your outer thighs and press your thighs inwards towards each other, but don't let your thighs physically move. Push back into your hands and resist mm, the press of your hands. Mm, then lower the hips down, take an inhale. On your exhale, lift your pelvis again, hands on the outer thighs, press the thighs towards each other, just gently. And in the same time, press back into your own hands, own fingertips, and lower your hips down. And let's do this twice more. So again, we lift up, squeeze the hamstrings and the glutes, hands on the thighs, press your thighs inwards, push them back into your hands, just to the point where your legs stay parallel, and lower down. 
this is another really great way to build st stability in the pelvis and strengthen the muscles that align your legs with your torso. And then we repeat this pelvic lift, but this time, as opposed to putting the hands on the outer thighs, we're going to put them on the inner thighs. And now press the legs inwards, push the inner thighs a little bit into your fingertips, and then try and separate your legs and lower them. So now we are addressing the adductors, the muscles running on the inner thighs. Lift the hips. Um, squeeze the thighs, try and separate them with your legs. And let's lower that. Let's do this twice more. Lift the hips, um, squeeze in, resist, try and separate the legs with your hands. And we have one more. If you have a hard time reaching your thighs, then feel free to put a pillow or a yoga block in between your knees. Lower the hips down, now roll over onto your side and the bottom leg will be extended, the top leg will be bent and right now I'm just on my tippy toes. Now let's bring that top knee towards the mat, then tap your toes behind your leg so the top knee will touch the mat and then the toes will touch the mat. We are going into internal hip rotation and external hip rotation as we are keeping our pelvis nice and stable. We are generating more mobility in the hip joint and also we are working those internal and external hip rotators. Let's do this one more time, then we flip around and we do this on the second side. Bottom leg is straight, top leg is bent, and tap the knee, and tap the toes. And the hips are staying stacked on top of each other, so we are really isolating those internal and external hip rotator muscles. Also try and keep a little space in your waistline that will engage your entire side body. And let's do this just one more time. Now let's do a nice hip stretch. So we're going to lift the legs and then cross the legs high up over each other. Hold on to your feet and you should feel a nice intense stretch in the top hip. So for me, my right leg is crossed over my left leg. I'm feeling the stretch in my right hip. Let's change the legs, left leg over the right leg, and you should feel the stretch in the left hip. And then come out of the stretch and let's finish with a nice um, spine twist. Open your arms to the side, cross the right leg over the left leg, and drop your knees towards the right and look to the left. So this very nicely stretches your lower back, the muscles surrounding the sacroiliac joint, the side of the hip. And let's do this on the second side as well. Left leg over the right leg, and drop the knees to the left and look to the right. You can come out of your stretch. I hope you enjoyed these exercises. Um, if you would like more help on how to eliminate sacroiliac joint pain, I have good news for you. Uh, please go to my website www.painfreeforlifepilates.com and visit my shop tab. If you click on the shop tab and you scroll down, you will see my home programs. Um, there is one that I designed specifically for sciatica, sacroiliac pain, lower back pain. That would be a great program for you to do on an everyday basis to help get rid of that at the sciatica, lower back, SI joint pain. The program costs $69 and you have lifetime access to it. Um, if you would like to work with me in person or online, 
please visit my website again and sign up for a complimentary 15 minute phone consultation. And while on my website, don't forget to sign up for my weekly newsletters. I hope you enjoyed today's video and see you next time.